There. Now, before we start our lesson, let me ask, what was something you did fun this week? Again, what was something you did fun this week? I uh, don't know. Oh, you don't know? What was something happy that you uh, done this week? I don't have anything to have to have. Oh, I see. So, how about school? What did you do in school oh, aside from learning? I play in school. Oh, you play in school. All right. Now, can you see? Can you hear me well? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you well. All right. Now let's begin. Now here, can you see my screen? Yes. All right. So can you still remember what you read this one? Or we will read again. Then let's answer questions. Okay, let's try to read again. Standing up. Let's go to letter A. Then I want reading letter B. Would that be okay? Okay. I read A, I read B. All right, you start. Yes. Stand okay. up. Stand up. Okay. I often see a pregnant woman board a bus and stand while young men sit reading the newspaper and pretend not to notice her. I watch children chatter like birds with their friends and act cool, while passenger wearing leg race stands right in front of them. Almost every day, I see men and women who are so old and weak they can't even stand up straight. But the young men wearing muscle shirts and tennis shoes continue to sit in the seat until they reach a destination. I guess. With all those muscles they are showing off, they must be very tired. I was taught common karate at a young age. I remember being told by my mother that if I didn't offer my seat to a handicapped person or an elderly man or woman, a woman with a child or one with several small children to take care of, I would be able to sit down for a week. Today, People have no respect members for the own family. So how can we expect them to respect strangers? Do you know why so many women stand on buses and subways while the men sit and read their newspapers? I'll tell you. Those men raised were raised with no manners. Last week, I was seated behind a woman and her teenage son. The kid was engrossed in his comic book. An elderly lady got on and stood near us, struggling to stay upright. She had a cane and limped badly. The woman in front of me gave her son a sharp poke in the ribs and said, Get up and get the lady your seat right now, before I let you have it upside your head. I agree that she was not very refined in her speech, but she sure was doing a fine job of instilling proper respect in her son. And I told her so when I got up. So all done. Now let's go. Do you know what is a pregnant, pregnant woman? Yes, I know the pregnant woman. Okay. How about chatter? This word, chatter. I don't know. Okay, chatter is also another word of ch uh, talking or chatting. Talking like birds. They keep on talking to their friends. That is chatter. How about destination? Do you have any idea? I don't have any idea. All right. Destination, it is where the place... 
you want to go or place where one is going. For example, when you're going home at school, so your destination is your house. If you're, if, from school, your destination is your house. So this is where you want to go after. Now, how about... Okay, do you know what is manners? Yes. Yes, and can you tell me what is manners based on your understanding? Oh, yes. I think I understand all. Oh, you understand all. That's so very nice. Now, let's go and answer some questions, okay? The first one is, what was the story all about? Okay, what was the story all about? What happened to the story? What happened is... The now the people old the old people the young people didn't uh, just uh, didn't uh, give the seat to, to the elderly or the pregnant. That's very good. Okay. Nowadays, those. People, especially men, don't offer or give their seats to pregnant women or elderly. All right, now let's go to number two question. Do you think people should give up their seats to the elderly, elderly or the young or even pregnant women? Do you think they should give up their seats to them? Do you think? Can you ask again? All right. Do you think people should give up their seats to the old, to the elderly or the young or even pregnant women? I think you give up the seat is the right. Okay. How about if you are very tired and you you are sitting and you see an elderly woman? Will you still give up your seat even if you're tired? Yes. Very good manners. I I think you were raised by a very good manners. Now let's go to number next question. Why do you think people just neglect or forgot this elderly woman standing up inside the bus? Why do you think? Why just people? Don't mind this elderly woman, pregnant, or even handicapped, just standing inside the bus. Okay. Why do you think they just look look at them? Even if they're standing and they didn't offer their seats. I don't know. Okay. It is because they were not thought good. Good manners. They have no manners. These people were, were, were raised with no manners. That's why they just look up. Look at the person, even if they are elderly, pregnant, or even handicapped. Do you know what is a handicap? A person who is yes, handicapped. Okay. Have you seen one? Yes. Oh, I see. Now, next question. When are you riding a bus? Do you also ride a bus? When you travel, oh, I, I don't travel to the bus. I oh, I travel to a taxi. Oh, a taxi. I see. So, but I'll just try to ask. Maybe you, you remember something. 
Okay, when was the last time you gave up your seat on a bus? If you have any experience giving up your seat to elderly, can you tell me about it? Do you have experience? No. Oh, I see. But, for example, if you were riding a bus and there is this pregnant woman standing up, what will you do? Oh. What shall you ask again? Okay. For example, you were riding on a bus and you saw a, a pregnant woman standing up. What will you do? I will give the seat to her. Very good. And if you give her your seat to her, how do you feel about it? I feel good. You feel I feel so. pr proud. Wow, very proud of yourself. It's a job well done. Now let's go to the next one. The ABCs to achieve your dreams. Do you have dreams? You have yes, I do. I have dreams. Oh, you have dreams. Okay. Now let's go and read these ABCs in our life to achieve these dreams. It is from A to Z. Yeah, let's start with this page. Okay. Avoid. Ready? Let me read. Okay. Avoid negative thoughts, people, place, things, and habits. Believe in yourself. Consider things uh, from every angel. Don't give up and don't give in. Enjoy life today. Just that it's gone. And tomorrow may never come. Family and friends are hidden treasures. Sing them out and enjoy the riches. Give more than you plan to give. Hang on to your dreams. Ignore who, who tries to distract true you. Okay, let's let's read this one first. This work H is okay. We read this one as angle. Oh, angle. Yes, angle. Next one is hidden. Okay, repeat after me. Hidden. Oh. Hidden. Right. And this one is discourage. Discourage. Yes, very good. Now let's proceed. J to Z. Wait, just do it. Keep on trying. No matter how hard it seems, if you got Easier. Peters never win and winners never quit. Love yourself first and foremost. Make it happen. Never lie, cheat, or steal. Always write a fair deal. Open your eyes and see things as they really are. Practice makes perfect. Quit making excuses. Read, study, and learn about everything important in your life. Start procrastinating right now. Take control of your own destiny. Understand yourself in order to better understand others. Visiting your life always don't grow anything. When you fall down, get back up to grow and go. And Zero see? in on the target and pull the trigger. Okay, let's read this one. Procrastinating. Oh, procrastinating. Okay, and procrastinating, it is like delaying your actions. For example, if you have homework, you'll just do it later. That's delaying your homework because you want to play, you, you will do it later. That's an example of being procrastinating. You'll just do your something later. All right, now. Since we're doing from A to Z, I'd like to answer. What does it mean? Okay, let's go number one. 
Okay. Wait. All right. One consonant uh, from uh, every angle. Every angle. Angle. Now let's. It's letter C. What does it mean by that? Consider things from every angle. I don't know what is around it. Okay. Okay. I'll give you. Okay, consider the things from very angle. It is where it is where you think carefully. You think carefully about each other's side. Just like an angle, there is side. For example, this is an angle. See, every angle there is a side that we need to consider and think very carefully before. Making a decision. Are you like that? You think carefully before making an action? You think before doing something? Are you like that? Okay, I'll repeat the questions. Are you like that when you think very carefully first before doing an action? Or before doing anything. Oh, I see. Now let's go to number two. Okay. Always strike a fear deep. I think it's here. Why does it mean that always strike or always move in a fair deal? I don't know. Okay. Here we is something like we always move in a fair actions. We don't. There's an advice here before this word. We okay. should we never We should never. We should never cheat. Yes, we should never cheat. What else? There are three in there. Never lie, cheat, or steal. Yes. Never lie to people, cheat, and steal. Yes, that's. What it means by always move in a fair deal. Don't lie, don't cheat, or don't steal. Be fair. That's how this word means. Are you fair? Do you cheat, lie, or steal? Do you? Yes, I steal. Do you do you do you lie, cheat, or steal? I think uh, I sometimes lying, cheating, and stealing. I don't ever cheating and stealing. Yes. Okay. Next, let's go to make it happen. Let's go to where? Okay. What does it like? Make it happen. It's the thing to achieve and make it happen. It's found in the title. What is the Thing that we need to make it happen and achieve. Yes. Yes, it's found in the title. A one word found in the title that we should achieve it and make it happen. It's found here. Oh, ABC to achieve your dream. Okay, it's a your dreams. You make your dreams happen. Since you have a dream, for example, you dream to become a football player, make sure you make it happen. And make it, you need to, it says here, you need to, yes, yes, we need to practice. Because practice makes 
What does practice makes? Here, I already underlined it. Yes. And practice makes? Perfect. Perfect. That's why you keep on practicing until it is perfect. Now, let's go to number four. Please read. Zero making number make it, okay, oh, perfect. Yeah, see things as they really are. Yes. So I see things as they really are. It's here. Is what? there some? Oh, I think I know where this something is not good uh, to me. We don't need to see it. Because we don't need to learn it. Because it's not me. Yes. That's why we need to open our... Our eyes. Yes. We need to open our eyes and see if it is good or bad. If it is bad, we should not do it. But if it is good, good job. Now let's go to number five. Oh. Wait. Five is zero in your target. Me. Zero you, in on the target. Yeah, zero on your target and pull the trigger. Do you know what is a trigger? Do you know what is a trigger? I don't know. Have you seen a gun? Did you already see a gun? Yes, I will see a gun. Okay. And can you see something like a small, a small straight line? All right, no, not straight line, a curved line like this one. And you need to pull it off before the gun, before a bullet comes out, right? You will press the trigger. You'll press the trigger before a bullet comes out. So, that's a trigger. Something that you press. For example, this is a gun. And you press it before the, tree, uh, before the bullet comes out. So, what does it mean by zero on your target? And pull the trigger. Okay. Why should we enjoy life today? Yes, why? Why should we enjoy life today and, and not and not tomorrow or yesterday? Why is it going to be today? Because uh, we because we scared about all that tomorrow we can die. Very good. There is a battle that maybe tomorrow we die that's why we need to enjoy life today okay are you enjoying your life today yes yes okay. and also if you don't enjoy your life today maybe tomorrow if you will not die you will miss those opportunity to enjoy maybe tomorrow you are sad and you didn't enjoy that's why every day make life very happy. Now let's go to number two. Number two is the what should we do first to understand others? Yes, what should we do to understand first others? Are we just be uh, others. Yes, we you would says to the uh, hello to the others first, not uh, the second. Mm -hmm. Or it has a phrase: be on 
一二三 ，the shoes. Yes, that this is a phrase, an idiomatic phrase that means that in order for us to understand them is be on their shoes, meaning be on their place. For example, if they are sad, be on their place or something like. Understand their place or their situation also. That is be on your shoes. For us to understand more others, what we do. Now let's go and try to talk more. Okay. Number one. What okay, I'll read. What motto or maxim guides your life? Do you have a motto or maxim? Okay, motto is like a phrase you choose and you believe it, it will guide your life. Something like a very short sentence that you made, or maybe you found it somewhere, then you it helps you guide your life. That is a motto. Okay, I'll give you my motto. I always look up to this one because it guides me. This is mine. Oh, is your motto is this is mine. Yes. Giving up is an option but never my choice. Yes. There is... Option of giving up, but I will not choose this one. So, yeah, this is my motto. Giving up is an option, but never my choice. Okay, that is mine. Now, how? Okay, I think you don't have one yet as of this moment, but I know soon when you go to college, you can find your own motto that will help you guide your life. As long as you will not also give up. Just continue what you want to achieve in your dreams. Okay, now let's go to number two. Okay, I'll read. Do you usually follow other people's advice or make up your own mind? And if it, if it has... What adv advice did you get from your parents, your teacher, or close friends? Do you follow advices? Yes, I follow advices. Okay, I, you follow advices. Now, can you remember one advice that your parents taught you? Follow the advice is don't uh, play any uh, don't uh, play any bad things with the bad people. Oh, that's a very nice advice from your parents, and you you do it right. You do it also. You listen to them, right? How about your teacher? Does your teacher have an advice for you? Yeah. Did Okay, can you remember some advice that the, your teacher say to you? Oh, you Our don't. Teacher don't teach me. Don't give you advice. Oh, advice is. Uh... You need to learn not to play and not to talk because the learning is important. Yes, that's a good advice from a teacher. Never talk because if you talk, you cannot learn in class. How about the close friends? Oh, I think it's already time. So we will just continue the three, four, five and the rest next meeting. All right. Do you have any questions? Clarifications before we end. No, no more, no more, no more question. 
You don't have any. All right. See you. See you next meeting. Thank you for cooperating. Bye.